Hello again, it's Greg and Chris on camera and we just built this really cool machine that wraps coils very quickly and efficiently. Let's take a closer look at it. This machine is basically just a piece of threaded rod and some plastic washers so that it'll spin easily and what we've done with our spool is we've got some rubber washers, these are number sixes, they fit the spool pretty well and they keep it from sliding. And If you go down past this washer you see this little wheel here and you see this arrow and that arrow is high spot on the wheel so every time it spins it comes down and it hits the little thumb button that a person would normally hit and it counts one spin and the last part of it is this Makita motor works pretty well now let's go back to the first part and explain the pieces that make up a coil now the first thing you need to get a hold of is a spool it's just a plastic spool made to hold wire you can buy these empty you don't have to buy wire on them and waste a bunch of it. You can get them online. Some people charge more than others, so have a close look. And then you're also going to need to get a bunch of wire. We use 24 gauge wire and it's got a shielding on it. It's magnetic wire. Now let's go back to the machine and I'll do a little demonstration with some speaker wire just to show you how it works. Now I'm just going to hit the motor and you can kind of watch this go around and the, the numbers will click. In fact, let me reset it. There we go. And I'm going to kind of feed it. This is, this is the critical part. You want to get your winds really close together and you want to keep them really tight. And you also want to count. We suggest 800 to 850 winds, but for this demonstration we've just got a piece of old hanky speaker wire. Here we go. Now, Notice how I held on to the end of that wire. Hopefully you'll have a bunch left once you see that you've hit 800 to 850. And always keep pressure on that wire. Because if you don't, you say, we, we did it, and everything's done, cool, and you walk away, it becomes loose, and that's going to be a less effective coil. So now let's go back to the table, and we'll show you the second part of coil making, which is the core. When you're building a core, you're basically taking the center of the spool, and you're packing it full of steel. And in this case, we use welding rod. And here's a piece of it. It's steel. This is Lincoln R60. And it comes in packs like this. They're about three feet long. And what you do is you get the right measurement. You can build a little jig so they're all pretty much the same length. There it is. And you clip, 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 clip. You get a pile of these. And you cram them all into the center of the spool. And we've done a pretty good job here. This is one of our later models, so it looks a lot cleaner. But you pack them in, pack them in, and the last couple of rods are going to be really tight fit. So what we suggest, and well, somebody suggested it to us, you sharpen the end of the rod a little bit, and then you tap it in with a hammer real lightly, but you want to get a tight packed fit. And to keep the core in place, we suggest you use a little epoxy on the bottom just to hold the rods. And then too, I didn't mention it before, but the cable that starts the coil needs to be separated from the cable that ends the coil and as you can see there's just a little space on our demonstration here but it's very important because when you put your machine together and start hooking it up to the circuitry you're going to need to make sure that the wire that starts is the same one that ends and if you've got a meter with a continuity checker you can simply hook it up and then if the two wires beep not unlike a fuse it's working you know you've got the same wires and you need to mark those so you can make your machine work but that's, that's pretty much building a coil. Here's our first one. We're very proud of it. It's, our, it's old and we hand wrapped it. It's 500. It's a bifiler. We built this machine, the new one, so that we could quickly make tri-filer cables. That's going to be one for the trigger mechanism of the coil. And the other two wires will be power wires. And they will feed the battery. So we wish you the best of luck on making your own coil. And we'll see you again.